You have polo, you have water polo, you have now also ice polo, but then there is this totally new thing and it's called bike polo. And we have here Claire from Melbourne and she's totally into it. Uh, Claire, what's bike polo? Um, yeah, bike polo is a sport that you play on a hard surface. There are three people in each team and the aim is to get the ball into the goal using your mallet. Okay. And it sounds pretty, pretty new and pretty innovative. How did you get involved with the sport? Yeah, I had a friend who played in Sydney and he used to come and stay at my house when he would play tournaments in Melbourne. He convinced me to go on a holiday to Sydney and play in a tournament and I fell in love with the sport straight away, bought a bike the next day and I've played ever since. Wow. And uh, how does these uh, tournaments really look like? Um, well, it really depends on where the tournament's being held. They're held in cities all around the world. Just this weekend, I, was at, like, I played in a tournament in Geneva. Um, the court there is underneath a highway in an old car park. So you can get anywhere in between 20 and 200 players at a tournament. So each tournament is really very different. You travel all around the globe for bike polo. How big is this sport uh, globally? Recent World Championships in Montpellier, there was around 200 people that played, and they play in about 400 cities around the world. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm, st I'm still wondering, like, you sitting on the bike, and then you uh, push it with the melon, and then you score. Well, you pedal your bike like normal, but you're not allowed to let your feet touch the ground. If you do that, then you're out of play, and you uh -huh. have to go tap your mallet in the middle of the court so that you're back in play. Yeah. Seems like uh, seems like a pretty tough uh, tough sport. Uh, um, I'm I'm really interested to, to do it. Uh, thanks so much for sharing your story, and uh, yeah, I hope to see you soon.